view is stunning. But honestly, this city is filled with a bunch of people that's just miserable. We are gonna be talking about college and do I believe it's a scam in 2024? Do I regret dropping out of college? Because number one, if you guys did not know, I dropped out. Yes, it's true. I am like every other YouTuber. I dropped out of college for a better life, for a life like this. I am currently only 22 years old and I live here in Miami, you know, downtown Miami. You know, I also live on the top floor, you know. So you probably think I'm gonna say college is a scam, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's a lot harder to answer that question, so. He almost died, that's crazy. Man, here I am at the beach. You know, it's a funny thing. You know, there used to be a time where I used to just dream of going to the beach. Something like this, just relaxing on a random day and just enjoying my time. So as I said before, I did choose to drop out of college for what some would call the red pill or self-improvement. I remember when I used to watch the videos talking about you know, college is a scam, don't go to college, don't waste your 20s, work, 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 you know, just grind until you make it. I was told that I'm not supposed to have friends or I'm gonna have very little of them. Of course, I was told parties is a complete waste of time. You know, any kind of fun is a waste of time and that I should just drop everything, drop college, drop my whole life basically to pursue improvement but you know i have to be honest dropping out of college i won't say is a mistake or a, i regret it or anything because i don't you know but there are some things that i just missed out on you know i have so many lack of experiences my air quotes experiences because i know that just going to college and partying and getting drunk or whatever the fuck is not that i know it's very fleeting like you know, who cares about partying or whatever. But honestly, you know, I'm only 22 years old. And the fact that I've never, I mean, I've been to parties, but the fact that I've never been to a club or a bar, really, or I've never done what most people around my age have done, really, I don't know. I feel like I just can't connect to other people around my age the same way because I just, I have nothing to relate with them with. I spend most of my time doing three things, you know, sleep, working, or doing YouTube. And the fact that, you know, people around my age are mostly probably in college, you know, going out to party, having experience, you know, having fun or whatever, living their life, it makes it so difficult trying to make friends and trying to, you know, have a relationship with people around your age. Since I was around the age of 16, I spent every single day, every waking hour working, you know, grinding, trying to get to the next step, trying to become a high value man or whatever people call it these days. And I realized, you know, that I I don't want to say I wasted a lot of time because of course I've made a lot of gains and I've, you know, done a lot of things and I've gained a lot of success through what I've done, but at the same time, I just I feel like I want to experience the other side of life. I don't know, man. I just felt like I've always been the type of guy that want to experience everything life has to offer. And of course, I know college is not the only place I can go to to go to have fun and go party or whatever, but college is, I don't know, I feel like college is so, I feel like college is such a good place to meet different type of people around your age because honestly, when you get to the real world, you get to real life, you realize most people just don't give a fuck or, you know, they have their own worries to worry about. You know, they don't have the time or even the strength to, you know, help you out or try to try to build a genuine connection. Like, bro, do you understand how lonely it feels to hear, you know, all your friends, people your age, talk about all the things they're doing, what they're going out, doing this, doing that, and you're just gonna go home and edit again? You know, that just, I don't know, it really makes me feel kind of shitty, honestly. And, you know, I try to tell myself that my hard work and everything that I'm doing in the end will you know, mean something. And, you know, I still believe that's true. I feel like, you know, once I get to a point where, you know, the YouTube's taking off and I'm, I can have more freedom in life, 
that you know going to college won't really mean much but you know for the time being right now I don't know I kind of wish I had college friends you know go out go have fun go party sometimes the only way I can really find peace is to come to the beach and just listen to the wind the sounds of the waves you know and just let go of a lot of things let go of a lot of the stress that I'm going through and just be okay in the moment all you hear online is drop out of college don't go to college follow your dreams follow your passions yada 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 but what they don't tell you is you're probably gonna be broke typically college degrees people that go to college or whatever typically make I think around I read this online so it might be false but I think they make around a million dollars more than the people that didn't go to college you know to me a million dollars sounds like a lot of money that's a lot of zeros that just isn't in my bank account I want to have fun travel see things party whatever I know but it makes it very difficult to do those things when you don't have any money you know I don't have money to go out I don't have money to travel I don't have money to do the things that I truly want to do and honestly maybe going to college wasn't gonna fix that but at the same time when you're in college you don't really need a lot of money to do those things because typically all of those things you want to do are typically on your campus you know you have friends that's in your dorm room you have your your roommate you have your cliques you can go to you know you don't need a lot but if you're not going to college it makes it very difficult especially in the real world in Miami to you know go out and enjoy life when you're don't have any money so you're probably wondering why did I drop out um, you know honestly I ask myself that every day but I remember one time sitting in class and just blanking out you know as the teacher was talking and you know everybody was writing down their answers or whatever to the test I just realized that this is not making me happy this is not what I want to do and you know it was a very pivotal moment and in that moment, I decided that I want to take my life into my own hands and do the things that I truly want to. You know, no matter how much I tried, I genuinely just didn't have an interest in college. I didn't have an interest in being a doctor or a lawyer or whatever people want to do these days to have status and power. I didn't, I never cared about those things. The only thing I really wanted was freedom in my own life. You know, when you ask most people why they went to college, they typically don't have an answer. Either it's because I'm supposed to or my parents told me to. And people don't realize that college is a lot of money. You know, you're paying 40, 50 plus thousand dollars a year. And you gotta pay that off. So, you know, I just, it was never for me. You know, even though I made this whole video talking about is college a scam? And, you know, it sounds like I regretted my decision. But to be honest with you, I really don't know. I think college, it's a very difficult thing to answer because for some people, it's definitely for you. But for others, you know, maybe doing your own thing is gonna be better for you in the end I don't know hopefully I made the right decision we will see in due time for me I'm about to relax on this beach for a little bit longer and just enjoy the waves bro look at the water first of all okay look at the water it's so fucking blue ah beautiful and the sand oh my god the sand feels so good on my feet not gonna lie but um I'm gonna catch you guys back at home later tonight it kind of sounds like I'm missing college low-key but honestly, I don't, you know, I really don't. But at the same time, I don't know. I kind of I kind of wish I would have kind of went to experience it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. But um, there's Jerry. We got, Jerry's actually here with me. He's on the beach doing his thing. Um, we're about to just relax. So I'm going to see you guys later tonight. See you. It is pretty late, but it has been a pretty eventful day, you know. I was not expecting for me to get in the water, but me and Jerry did decide to get in the water just because, I don't know. At first, we were a little hesitant, but we got in, and honestly, bro, I'm not gonna lie, it was the most relaxing thing I've done in a long time. I really enjoyed it, I'm not gonna lie. And, for some reason, there is a pile of sand just in the middle of my floor. I, you know, I don't know but we're gonna have to clean it up later. I know I've came a long way and I've done a lot of things. I honestly don't regret any of the decisions that I've made. You know, everything that I've done so far has been for a reason. I, at least I feel that way. Hopefully it is. I don't know, we'll see in like 10 years. For anybody that's deciding to not go to college or anything, I wanna urge you that, you know, the path of going on your own, creating your own path, doing your own journey, whatever you wanna call it, is not as 
glamorous as people make it seem, you know. I, it's been a very difficult journey, you know, since dropping out. I haven't been able to, you know, have those experiences that most people have around my age. I've mostly been working and just, you know, working on myself. We will see in like 10 years if I've made the right decisions. If I chose the right path, we, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm along with the journey with you guys. And you know, it's funny that in like 10 years, none of this is gonna matter. You know, all these questions or, you know, doubts aren't gonna matter in like 10 years. But for those that do wanna go to college, I do wanna give you guys a little bit of advice because I feel like a lot of guys go to, you know, college blindly without even thinking about it. So, number one, if you are going to college, please know why. You know, don't go to college just because you feel like it's the right thing to do or it's the thing you should be doing. It's not, you know. Get that notion, that mindset out of your brain because truly, a lot of people are in debt right now wishing that they never went or they went on a different path or did a different thing. You know, truly understand why you're going to college. Don't just go willy-nilly. I made it this far without college, you know. I'm here, downtown Miami, 45th floor. I get to live with my best friend and just enjoy my life. So, you know, is college a scam? I don't know. You know, we will never know. You know, it's been a question since the beginning of time, so who knows if we'll ever have the answer. But I will say, I love you guys dearly, and I just want you guys to just, you know, I just want you guys to be okay. You know, I know a lot of people out there are making so many mistakes, and just, it's so tough out there. So I just want you guys to make the right decisions and just, you know, be okay. Have a, have a good life. I'm, I'm tired of hearing people struggle. I'm tired of hearing people having money problems or whatever, or you're in debt. I'm tired of it. So just, you know, understand what you're doing. Understand that this is life. You know, this isn't just like video game and you just get to make mistakes and repeat or respawn. No, you know, you make the decisions you make, the decisions you make are going to change the rest of your life. These decisions today, not, you know, in the future or whatever. Today, the decisions you make today will alter your life in the next two or three past, you know, years. So just make sure you guys are making the right decisions and you're doing the right thing. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. And uh, let's get to 10K. You know, it's been a long journey, but I think we can do it. Um, I love you guys.